Hey, hey, what is up everyone? RC84 here, like always. Thanks for watching. Well, my friends, bad news on my RC Ripsol tank here. The one I just recently got. Now, as you can see, it is all in pieces right now. And why is it? Well, I'll be happy to tell you. Well, I'm not really happy about telling you about this because I pulled a total rookie move, all right? A rookie move. Uh, and I'm not a rookie. I'm a 10-year veteran in the RC hobby but i definitely pulled a rookie move so let me tell you the story all right so i took the tank out the other day for its first official run doing the video for it and i had a lot of fun running this vehicle in the backyard ripping up and jumping and stuff it's so much fun driving this vehicle but uh in the video towards the end of it i decided to run in this burn pile that my dad did a few a uh, few days ago his burnings and stuff and I ran the tank in it, and it looked so cool. So I was like, you know, I'm going to run the tank again, film it and stuff like that. Just running through this ash pile, throwing up this white ash everywhere. And, of course, the vehicle got extremely dirty. As you can still see, there's some of that residue left behind. But it got extremely dirty, all right? Now, that day that I did the video, I actually had to go to a family dinner. And I was running already a little late because I was busy filming the you know the video or filming the tank there so i turned it off and i threw it up here on the rc workstation and i was like you know i get back i'll clean it up and so when i did get back i was like all right i'm gonna go ahead and clean this thing up now i knew right off the bat that this vehicle is not waterproof the electronics are not waterproof whatsoever and i knew that and i said i was like all right i'll start by brushing it off see if i can get all that residue off it was taking forever, so I was like, you know what? Maybe if I can just rinse it really quick and get that stuff off of there, we'll be good. So I do that, and then when I started drying it off, my hand hit the on and off switch, which is down here. And so the LED light up here started flashing really, really fast. And next thing I know, I heard, I was like, oh no, and then the smoke came out. I was like, I forgot to unplug the battery. That is one of the things that you're supposed to do. That's RC 101. When you get done with your RC, you're supposed to power it down, undo the battery. I did not do that because I was running late for that family dinner. So I ended up frying the ESC, which is right here, my friends. Let me pull the top off and show you. So here is the ESC, which is just an open uh, chip or circuit board if you want to say not waterproof whatsoever so yeah so water got on it and it burned up and i left the battery plugged up so that was my doing my fault i am an idiot for doing that but we all make mistakes and uh i definitely learned from this mistake that uh <laughs> not to get any water i didn't think any water would get into the vehicle i just rinsed it really quickly but water did get in there. And how it got in there? Well, here's something that I did not know. All right. There are two little vents right here behind the front door and the passenger door. I didn't think that there were active vents. I thought that they were just, you know, there for a look. But they are active vents, as you can see. See? So that's how the air gets inside and cools electronics down. Well, <laughs> I guess some water did get in there and it hit the circuit board. And with me having the battery pack plugged up and hitting the on and off button there while I was drying it, it, uh, it shorted out. And I was like, oh man, this sucks. I really like running this vehicle. I wanted to do some more videos of it because it's just so cool and it's fun to drive. So I had to end up ordering new electronics for it. Now, the only way you can get electronics for this is have to order it from China. Now, this is an all-in-one ESC, all right? So the controller, the receiver is all in this ESC right here, or chip, <laughs> all right? So I had to order a new one, and the only place you can get it through is Banggood, which is where I could get the controller and the ESC, or electronics for it. And it was coming from the China warehouse. Well, I wasn't really sure how long 
that was going to take. Because we all know when you order something from China, it could take maybe a few weeks or a month. Really depending on how the seller is on the shipping and stuff. So I was like, well, I'll just go ahead and order new parts. That cost me about 28 bucks for it. So I'm waiting for that to come in. But then the other night, I was thinking to myself, I was like, self, why don't you just go ahead and buy you another vehicle? Because you don't know when the electronics are going to come in for that. So why don't you just go ahead and buy another one? So I decided to do that, just that. I went ahead and I bought another one. But I bought a really cool <laughs> looking one. It's the same one, same brand, same company. But this came in this really cool army camo flage color which as you most guys if you mostly know me here on the channel you see a lot of my army vehicles like i have a lot of uh <laughs> army vehicles i don't know what it is about the army vehicles i just tend to get drawn to them and uh, a lot of my rigs get to do an army theme so when i saw that i was like yeah you know what i could buy another one just like this one or I could buy this one right here. So I decided to get this one. Now, here's the thing. I feel like I got ripped on this one right here. Now, what I mean by that, all right, I paid right about $100 for this. Well, actually $105 or so and some change um, getting the vehicle and a, a separate battery pack for it as well because I knew that it only had 10 or 15 minute run time, so I wanted to have a different battery for it. So yeah, now this one right here, found it on Amazon, just as I found this one on Amazon too. Now you can get these through Banggood's for like 60 bucks or so, but they're coming from China and you don't know when they're gonna come in. But like I said, found this on Amazon for $85. This one came with two batteries, the charger, the remote, the vehicle, all for $85. I paid a hundred and some dollars for this one with another battery when this one came with two batteries and all so i kind of feel like i got ripped on that <laughs> but this thing looks pretty cool they're both the same vehicles um as you can see both of them are just the same just different color scheme and i really like the camouflage one says assault vehicle the other one says military police so now I'm waiting for the electronics to come in for that one. So once it does come in, I'll throw the electronics in that one. And then I'll have two RC tanks. Or if I break something on this one, I can take parts from that one. Or, <laughs> or if somebody wants to run with me, hey, I got two tanks to run with. So uh, yeah. <laughs> so there's my story, my friends. I hope y'all got a laugh out of this. Uh, it was definitely a, a laughing experience for me. And uh, some of my other friends there as well. But look at that thing. This looks a lot meaner than this gray one, which they call it black, but that's definitely gray. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? But it definitely looks extremely cool. Now, I have learned my lesson. If it gets dirty, don't try to rinse it. I'll tr probably try to waterproof electronics or somewhat water resist electronics i'm not really sure i haven't really worked too much with circuit board uh vehicles that's actually still attached but it gets a good view of what's inside so you got your gear boxes back here with the motors but uh yeah so there you go my friends <laughs> So I hope y'all like this story. Uh, so yeah. All right, my friends. So I will see y'all in the next upcoming RC video. Maybe this tank I'll take out and avoid any water as possible or try to. All right. Well, my friends, thank you again for watching and I will see y'all later.